was a recovery period from the drama over the custody dispute. We knew it was not over because there was another court date on the books for an appeal. We continued marriage counseling through our church and made prayer a priority. Spending time in the Lord's presence was the only thing that kept us sane. We did our best to keep moving forward and make progress on the little house. I'm ready to give an actual tour of our progress so far. So come along. Hi Simba. Okay. So yes, it is a mess and stuff is everywhere, but if you remember before, it was just um, a shell with a bunch of limes on the ground. Uh, so where should we start? Let's start where we started. So we did end up bringing the loft down. Um, originally the loft ended about right here. No, whoa. Originally it ended like right here. All right, so we extended it all the way out to here. And we dropped it down. We dropped it down to ceiling level instead of like where this beam is, which is above the ceiling level. All right, so the kids actually have Quite a bit of space up there. If you're just counting the floor, it's like 157 square feet. So that should be enough to fit their two little twin beds and store some of their clothes and have a little bit of space. Plus we're gonna have the tree house outside, which is, um, it's being built. <laughs> but so there's where the tree house starts. We framed out the walls, just like I said. Um, here's the closet, you know, it's a little, uh, four foot by four foot closet. We have our bedroom walls restudded. We got the windows and we framed our bedroom walls. And we already got the drywall up. Um, the ceiling, I actually really like it the way it is. It kind of has a, a cabin-y feel. I really enjoy that. Kind of the mood, what I'm going for in here is like, I have a dark, a dark greenish it's more blue than teal, but uh, it's like a really dark, rich color. And I want it to kind of look like, you know, romantic Texas summer night. Um, and our lights in here are going to be kind of um, like the patio lights. Let's see how that works. And our bed is going to go right here. Uh, originally, I wanted it here because that makes it with the windows, but I just don't like how close that is to the door. Okay, so moving on to the bathroom. It's still a work zone, so ignore the mess. Oh, um, yes, we got the, the walls framed for the bathroom. We have our sink with water. Lights are in already. Um, nature's head toilet, we don't have the fan hooked up. Oh, hi boy. Um, I think I explained this cabinet in the last video. And we have a working shower. Okay, I actually finished texturing these walls yesterday. Got a little bit of texture on the ceiling, not gonna go all out with that, but hopefully I will get to painting this today, but we do have another priority and I'll get to that. So this is our you know, broom and got cleaning supply cabinet. My mom and I built this like in a couple of hours. It was actually really fun. Um, our, our cabinet making skills have definitely improved. This is our kitchen sink and counter. Here is the only finished window, you know, with windowsill caulking around it. It opens, we got this window shade from Ikea. Um, this shelf up here is going to serve as kind of extra storage, but it's also the under cabinet um, for the microwave that's supposed to go under a cabinet. But it's a microwave vent hood. It goes right above the stove. 
is, you know, our fridge. We started framing. This is where the kids are going to enter the loft. So their stairs is going to be here. No, Simba. He just pooped on my floor. Okay, we're back. Um, soon and very soon, we are going to sand, sand the floor. Put a varathane, polyurethane floor finish over the top, and then sand that. Put another coat on. Um, electric. We actually did all the electric in here ourselves. My uncle, um, kind of told us what to do. Um, but I actually, I actually wired most of the outlets in here myself, and I'm pretty proud of that. So, see, they're working. Working outlets. Um, he hooked it up to the breaker, hooked the breaker up to the power source, and we have a proper breaker box um, without having to hire anybody. And I'm, I'm very grateful to you, Uncle Bruce, if you're watching. Um, that's been a lifesaver. Uh, so the only thing left to wire actually is the ceiling fans. We're gonna have two ceiling fans because in the summer, um, it's it's probably gonna get pretty hot in here because because it gets hot here. <laughs> oh, the plumbing, uh, my husband and I actually did. Here's what we have going on. Let me show you down here. All right, there's a shelf in the way, so. You can't see it super well, but here is our water heater. Maybe I can take this out. It doesn't come out easily, so I'm not gonna. But we have these um, brass copper manifolds. There's where the water supply comes in and where I can turn it off. So we have that shut off switch um, in close range. And I'm going to, I'm going to cover this back here with like, probably like a piece of canvas just because oh, you can't see it. And so kids can't like touch the pipes when they're hot. Um, but this water heater works. It's turned off right now. Um, but yeah, it's, it's really small, but it is a, an electric on demand water heater. I had like pictures taken of this before, um, pictures and videos taken of all the plumbing. But, um, this was done probably last December and I don't have any of the footage that we took from last December. Um, I had a different phone, so I had videos on there, but I also couldn't get the videos from my phone to my computer. The first videos I filmed was on camera, but I couldn't focus the lens. So I stopped using it because it was... It was, my videos always ended up blurry unless I was like manually adjusting the lens. Um, so unfortunately I don't have any of the footage from, from the time that the bulk of this was, um, put together, but I can try to explain it. Okay. <laughs> so this is the water intake. So this is all cold water. So I got cold water running there. Um, and then it, there swoops back. For the sink and then I have cold water for the shower and then I have cold water for the I think this the middle one goes to the shower and the top one the top one here swings back around um, and goes to the kitchen sink same thing over here um, it's like in the wall so you can't really see that one but the bottom one I think swings back around here and goes to this sink the um, middle one goes to the kitchen sink and the top one swings back around and goes to the shower. So every single piece of plumbing in this house is on like a six foot wall span. So it was pretty easy to get it all in there. The shower, it's... That light blinks sometimes. I don't know if that's a wiring problem or not. I'll have to look at that. Anyway, um, it has, there's plywood behind it on all sides. And then there's concrete board. 
So like uh, like the tile backer board, the Duroc stuff. And then we have um, this really inexpensive FRP material that you'd find in like RVs and stuff. Um, but it's worked out and it's waterproof. And we got the plastic trim and I'm gonna put another trim piece up here. I think I already mentioned that, but just so it's not to have, it doesn't have that ugly gap. So this up here was done last night. This is actually going to be an additional storage loft so we can put like, um, so we can put like holiday decorations, our camping gear and all that stuff and luggage, things that aren't going to fit in a closet anywhere. So that's going to give us a great deal of a s amount of storage. It's looking kind of ugly right now because we had some pieces that got put up um, crooked. I tell you, it is very difficult to get those panels up there, even small ones, because like over there, I have bit footage of that and I think I already posted it, but um, we used screws. And I don't know, it was difficult. It kept chewing up the... Um, the beadboard where we put it sometimes we wouldn't be able to reach to the um the framing boards that we have back there so we decided to go with finishing nails and like this one it ended up looking a lot better like you can't even see the nails whereas you can see all those screws over there so over here we did the finishing nails And you can't see those, but of course there are like different kinds of gaps. Like that piece right there is just awful. I don't know what happened, but we can't take it down because it, it would just ruin the piece of board. And I don't want to do that again. It's not fun um, to have to do that over your head at weird angles. Um, and then like we're like found really interesting ways to hold the hammer. Um, but yeah, I'm going to get to painting and then doing trim. And then we can get the floor up here. And the reason why this is a priority right now is because all of the stuff that we're going to put up here is actually on my mom's front porch. And in the corner where the Christmas tree needs to go. So we got to get this done very quickly. It is Thanksgiving was two days ago. So Christmas tree needs to go up soon. <laughs> so come paint with me. I did not actually get to paint that day. Since it is getting colder, the joint compound was not dry yet. I attempted to paint the bathroom, but there were more little projects to get done before it was ready for paint. It was a frustrating day. Little by little, more things got done. Kinsley, come on. Turn around. Get on your belly the same way you climbed up. There you go. There you go, Aubrey. That was a good, a good way. 
What are you gonna do with my bag? Pick it up. Why? Handshake. Okay, no more handshakes. Oh, sorry, I hit your glasses. That is the last nail in the ceiling. Unless we find something else to nail. Else to nail. Mm -hmm. It's still rough. <laughs> Yay! Yay! We're finished with the ceilings mostly. Not we're not finished with the house, just just the nails. <laughs> Like many tasks in the house, we did it the hard way. We should have rented a floor sander, but since we had to do it one room at a time and had a lot of stuff in the way, it would not have been cost effective. We had more time than money at this point. I was working in the kids' school as an aide while I changed course to get my elementary teaching certificate for more job opportunities. I graduated college with a secondary certificate, but wasn't finding openings nearby. Anyway, I got to be off when they were off. When we needed a break, it was always nice to do some animal chores and marvel at their progress. Pigs cleaned out their lot and were growing strong and healthy. this video, but I hope to catch up in editing before revealing where the next chapter in our lives has taken us. We have come so far and I want to make sure I document this season of our lives. Thank you for watching. Until next time, love the Mathesons.